Hi guys, welcome back to Shaman's Kitchen. Happy Saturday to each and every one of you. If you're viewing my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today is a rainy day here in Canada. Last week we had our Thanksgiving and we had lots of good stuff, lots of North American food. And this week I'm in a mood for a nice hot fish curry and today I will be sharing a hassa curry with you guys cooked in the real Guyanese way with our Indi Madras curry powder I'm using Guyana hassa so all that Guyanese flavor I'm just in the mood this weekend for a real Guyanese fish curry so if you guys want to see this come on down and let's get cooking so here I have my hassa or cascado or armor catfish. I just wash them nice with lime and scrub them for a couple of times. And the next thing I like to do now, before I cook them, I like to add about a teaspoon of salt on the hassa, like just like that. And I like to put some water and let them soak in that water while I'm preparing my other ingredient to cook the hasa. So just a little bit of water with that salt and I'm going to start preparing the other ingredients for our hasa curry today. So these are some of the ingredients I'm going to be using for my hasa curry today. I have some fresh fine thyme that I picked from my garden, some fresh broadleaf thyme that I picked from my own plant, some fresh mariburi pepper from also picked from my plant, and some fresh green onions picked from my garden. I am adding some garlic and some onions. I'm going to blend up my seasoning except for the onions, and I'll come right back and show you the texture of my seasoning. So now I have my dry ingredients that I'm going to be adding to our hasa curry. And here I have um, some garam masala. I'm going to leave all the measurement in the description below. Over here I have some Indi special madras curry powder. Over here I have some roasted jeera or cumin. And over here I have some turmeric powder. I'm cooking Guyana hasa, so I decide I'm gonna use some Guyana curry powder and this is the Indi special Madras curry powder. I don't always use Indi. I mostly use Lala's, but today I wanna try the Indi curry powder with the Guyana hasa. So I'm doing real Guyanese flavors today. Big shout out to my brother-in-law. He's a good cook and he was the one who gave me this indie curry powder. So if you're watching this video, big shout out to you. I know you cook hasa today as well. So here, right here, I have my coconut milk, fresh coconut that I grated. And this is half of a coconut and I added some water. So now I'm gonna add my green seasoning to our dry spices. So in the dry spices, I blended up my all my ingredient, fresh ingredients that I showed a few minutes ago with a little bit of water. Roughly blend those ingredients up because I wanted them to still have some texture. And the water that I added is to make a paste with the dry ingredients. And now we're gonna start cooking or bungee the hasa curry. So with a little bit of oil in the pan, I added my curry paste and it smells really nice in here. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, just rinsing out the bowl that I had the mixture in. I'm gonna mix this. I'll cover it down and let all the spices and ingredients married in together. And we will come back and check this out 
in about three to four minutes. It smells amazing. Okay, so we're gonna check on this now. And it is cooking up nicely. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt into the mixture. Make it, making a mess here. We're gonna mix that up. And we're gonna try to get out all that is sticking to the bottom. We don't want it to burn because the flavor of the curry is gonna not be too nice. It's gonna be bitter and it will lose some of that rich, nice flavor. So I added my salt. I'm gonna go in with my onions, my two small onions. If you're using large onions, you only need one. And this will be our Guyana flavor pasta curry today with the Lala, the, sorry, with the Indi special Madras curry powder along with the Guyana Hassa. We should have some amazing Guyanese flavor. So now I'm going to add my Hassa in there and I have them soaking in the salted water. Not a lot. Do you like Hassa curry Matthew? Yeah. I know, that's what I asked you. You're happy today with what I'm cooking, right? Yeah. So now that this is in, we're gonna mix them in. So we can get all that goodness on these fish. And to all my Trinidad friends, they're, they um, know this fish as cascadoo. And some people will know it as armored catfish. And for our all my Guyanese friends, we say hasa. So now we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes. If there is any natural water for this fish, it's gonna release that before we add any other ingredients. And this is looking good already. So I have some nice ingredients to add to our hatsa curry, I have some moringa or saijan. I have here some nice green mangoes. I have some cherry tomatoes that I got from my aunt's garden and I got some okra. So imagine how rich this hatsa curry is gonna be along with that um, coconut milk. The hatsa did release some of its natural juices and it's really, really looking beautiful right now. I'm gonna start adding some of these um, other ingredients. I guess I'm gonna go in with the coconut milk first. I'm gonna add my coconut milk and this is one dish. You want it to cook on low heat. So it's not cooking too fast on high heat and just dry up all the liquid, but it's also gonna cook through with the fish and everything will cook nicely together. So now I like to just turn the bottom of the pan so all that beautiful ingredients will mix in together with the coconut milk. And that coconut milk would add some sweetness to the dish, remove that fishy taste and give us a nice thick rich gravy. I'm gonna add some more because I'm cooking this down slowly. And I'm gonna start adding my saija now. And this is very good for our health as well and very flavorful in any kind of fish curry. And I'm gonna add these mangoes because mangoes is a little bit harder to cook. So we want them to cook nice and soft. I'm gonna make those go down in the bottom here so they can cook quickly. And now I'm gonna add my okra in there. I want the okra to cook nice and soft as well. And the tomatoes. When I open the pot the next time, I'll add the tomato. But one more thing I want to add is my maraburi pepper. 
and what I did I just cut them slightly so some of this beautiful flavor is gonna release I just give a little slit on the side here you see it that's gonna release into the food look at that here right here and give a nice beautiful flavor this is one of the flavorful marjorie that I have and we're gonna get a good turn of smell my hand so good right so now I'm gonna cover this let it cook on low heat we'll come back and add our tomatoes in about eight to ten minutes so my curry is coming up nicely along with my green seasoning I'm just gonna sprinkle some more fine thyme on the top and I, the thyme really gives a good flavor and I'm gonna put in my cherry tomatoes just to cook now and steam into the dish look how beautiful this pot is looking amazing so I'm gonna cover it again and let it cook until almost all this liquid is gone before it's ready so my hatsa curry is finished I have most of the liquid evaporated and everything look like they're cooked I can see the mango look like it's cooked my saijan or moringa um, everything is looking very very nice so I am turning it off I had it cooking on low heat and I'm gonna start plating up very soon I'm making some little roti to eat with my fish curry tonight some very small one so and these ones would have good pockets inside to suck up all that curry gravy so my first roti is done look how nice it's swell right on my roti pan or tawa and I'm gonna start cooking the rest my kids love when I make little roti like this so friends look at my roti that I made today and I like to make once in a while small roti because the big ones sometimes the kids can't finish and I hate to waste and look how cute and little they are Shamiza I have yours at the top here this nice one it is made for you and for all the other friends we have enough here and it looks beautiful beautiful like this I'm gonna dish out my plate now with the hasa curry and let you guys see how that looks so here is my beautiful hasa curry it can be served two ways I have all my trimmings here with the mangoes hasa is cooked to perfection my saijan or moringa my marjorie pepper, cherry tomato, and all the, the okra right here, and all the thick, nice gravy on the bottom. It can go with some rice, and it can also go with roti. I'm gonna sprinkle some green onions on top. And this is one complete Saturday night beautiful dish. So let me plate up. Before I plate up, I have a success story to share. Our very own Riza made. Um, follow my recipe for edo leaf bhaji and shrimp. And he cooked the edo leaf bhaji following my recipe. I was very happy about the results. So I will show you guys that video right after this. So here is our beautiful hasa curry that we're gonna have two ways tonight because I know some of my friends would prefer it with rice and I know some of my friends will prefer it with roti. I'm gonna break open this roti and show you how nice it is in the inside. And this is why I like to make roti, sada roti to eat with my curry because I have all this pocket in here and then I'm just gonna soak up my roti into this gravy here. 
Look at the mango. Let me bring the mango over here. It's so nicely cooked and so soft. Look at that. So cheers to all my Hassa curry lovers. Cheers to you guys. Mm. Oh my goodness. So delicious. So perfectly seasoned. The flavors are amazing. Sweetness from the coconut milk, hint of the mango and the um, Saijan, it's just amazing. I'm gonna mix up some of this rice. I'm gonna squeeze that pepper in there. A good fish curry deserves some nice hot pepper. And I'm gonna take a mouthful with the rice right here like that. And this other mouthful is for my friends who prefer it with rice. Don't forget to try the fish. Mm -hmm, I will. Mm, that pepper is hot. I have to take another mouthful. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, this is just satisfying. On a cold rainy night, and especially if you're craving, and this is when you know the fish is cooked perfectly when you can remove the this um the skin like this it is perfectly cooked and then you just go in for your pieces of hassa here amazing i'm so happy and so satisfied tonight that i made i made this dish nothing like a good hassa curry and that indie curry powder tastes absolutely delicious so if Mm. I wish you guys can taste it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say to you guys, stay blessed, stay safe. I love you guys. Bye for now.